Hello everyone, but the Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on the weather across Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. This Tuesday evening, August 22, 2023. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video, share it, subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. Feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know what the that's been like in your year recently. Also feel free to ask any other related question that you might have about the future of the in your specific year. I respond to all comments and I'm really for this stuff. Alright, so let's just take a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for this evening. We can still see that we have numerous areas of low pressure that have chances of development across portions of the main development region. We can see that we have post-tropical cyclone Gert right there across portions of the Leeward Island. And we can still see that we have tropical storm Franklin right there across the central Caribbean Sea. If we take a look at the visible satellite images before the sun went down, we can see that what was once Gert is right there spinning away, right there off the Leeward Island. We can see two areas of low pressure right there spinning away across portions of the main development region. And we can see the clouds associated tropical storm Franklin about to make their way across portions of Hispaniola and bring even more showers and thunderstorms than what they've already been receiving. We can also see more of a northeasterly flow coming into Jamaica, all courtesy of the influence by Franklin. So we did indeed have some amount of rainfall, especially across sections of some northern parishes, especially during the morning. Then across sections of some southern parishes during the afternoon. Alright, so we'll be talking more about the Caribbean's weather later on. Let's focus our attention on what the U.S. National Hurricane Center is showing on their page for the seven-day graphical tropical weather outlook. We can see that we have new, these areas that have chances of development across the northern main development region that we just saw on the satellite images. And we can see that we have Tropical Storm Franklin. And we can also see that we have Tropical St Storm now Tropical Depression Herald across the southern United States, right there across portions of southern Texas, northern Mexico. If we focus our attention on Tropical Storm Franklin, we can see that yes, it is still a tropical storm with maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour. It is moving right now towards the northwest and it's expected to move towards the north and then to the north-northeast and then cross over Hispaniola and then make its way eastward, then northward and possibly develop into a hurricane. We can see that it's definitely going to be affecting portions of Haiti and Dominican Republic where they have tropical storm warnings in place so definitely some life-threatening flash flooding storm surge maybe some slight storm surge and some landslides the main impact of these tropical system is more than likely the rainfall so they're definitely going to be getting in on some amount of flash flooding especially in haiti where they lack trees definitely going to be getting in on some amount of flooding taking place and we can see the motion of the system on the euro mall which takes it directly over hispaniola and if we even look, we can also see some greens that represent some slight rainfall across section of Jamaica. So we're definitely going to be in for some amount of rainfall, especially during the afternoon on Wednesday into Thursday as well. And if we actually take a look at the GFS mall, we see much of the same taking place. What we want to see or what we normally look for is the consensus. And we see that the greens are right there for Wednesday and even into Thursday. And we can see that the spaghetti model plots are in agreement that yes, it's definitely going to take it right there, smacked up in the middle of Hispaniola. GFS showing something a bit different, taking it more into Haiti. We shall see exactly what unfolds with that. Either way, it's definitely going to be keeping it at tropical storm status, maybe making it into hurricane status within the next three to five days. Alright, so let's take a look at what took place across Jamaica for today. So as stated, we have more of a northeasterly flow across the island for the winds and the clouds. And this brought some amount of rainfall to sections of some northern parishes in the morning. Then, during the afternoon, across sections of some southern 
and Western Parishes. So definitely, we can see, even see right now that we have some amount of cloud cover across sections of St. Elizabeth and Westmoreland. And we see that even better on the infrared satellite images. We see those sparkling white dots that represent lightning flashes, if not lightning strikes, and lots of showers and thunderstorm activity taking place across sections of St. Elizabeth and Westmoreland at this time. And we see that rainfall on the Doppler radar images. You know, the green represents some moderate rainfall. The yellows represent strong rainfall. And we see that exiting the coast of Westmoreland and St. Elizabeth at this time if we take a look at the temperatures for tonight we can see that we have 28 degrees celsius in montego bay 27 degrees celsius in kingston and as usual as the night progresses these temperatures should be getting lower as relates to the temperature forecast for tomorrow both of these maps from the euro and the gfs mall are showing 18z on a wednesday which is actually 1 p.m on wednesday and we see that both of these maps are showing some slight yellows across sections of Jamaica that represent at least 1 to 2 degrees Celsius above average temperatures. And we know the average temperatures for the month of August across Jamaica is about 91 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about the equivalent of 32 degrees Celsius. So we should be receiving anywhere from 32 to 34 degrees Celsius at most. If we take a look at the dry air map, we see that there's a lot of moist air across the majority of the Atlantic Basin. Not much in the way of dry air, especially across the Jamaica area. And we can also see that majority of the Saharan dust. We can see the forecast 2 p.m. on Wednesday. Majority of it has waned, dissipated. We hope it remains that way. Majority of the Caribbean right now, lots of blue that represent moist air. And we're grateful for that. If we take a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow, both of these maps from the year and the GFS are showing 12 p.m. on Wednesday. And we can see the GFS is a bit more robust, showing some purples right there after the east coast of Jamaica. Euro, less robust, showing more in the way of blues. The blues represent 1.5 meter wave heights or less. The purples represent 2 meter wave heights. And that is due to the fact that the winds are going to be strongest Maybe at that side, maybe some of the, you know, extra winds from Tropical Storm Franklin making their way and chopping up the seas off to the east of the island of Jamaica. And we can also see that there is going to be more in the way of an easterly flow across the island. Well, on the north coast of the island right there, while the south coast of the island seems to be getting more in the way of a southerly flow. Either way, we can see that that air is going to be piling up across inland areas of Jamaica right there. We see those darker shades of blues. So we definitely are going to be getting in on some strong afternoon convection tomorrow. And with the wind shear coming in from the southwest, that convection will definitely be favoring more northern parishes, bringing more overcast skies, showers and thunderstorms to that side of the island. So definitely sections of Portland, Trelawney, sections of St. Mary, St. Anne, St. James, Hanover. Definitely going to be getting in on some amount of rainfall for tomorrow. Because when all of that air piles up in the inland areas of the island, we have those cumulus clouds becoming cumulonimbus clouds. Then when those cumulonimbus clouds get all the way up into the upper levels of the atmosphere, they're going to be blown off by that upper level wind shear coming in from the southwest. So they're definitely going to be bringing more in the way of overcast skies, showers and thunderstorms, sections of some northern parishes in Jamaica. And if we even take a look at the precipitation forecast, this is 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is actually 12 p.m. Jamaica time. And where do we see the blues that represent rainfall? We see that mainly across sections of some northern parishes, so Hanover, St. James, Trelawney, St. Anne, St. Mary, Portland. We even see some across sections of northern St. Andrew, northern St. Thomas right there. So they're definitely in for some amount of rainfall for tomorrow, especially on the north coast. Skipping ahead to about 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is actually 3 p.m. Jamaica time. We still see much of the same with the rainfall across sections of eastern, central, and western parishes in Jamaica. While the GFS is showing more in the way of rainfall across sections of more northern parishes in Jamaica. So those very parishes that we just mentioned, Hanover, St. James, Trelawney, St. Anne, St. Mary, Portland, Northern St. Andrew, Northern St. Thomas. Definitely going to be in for some amount of rainfall for tomorrow. And if we take a look at the accumulated precipitation forecast, both maps are definitely showing some amount of rainfall. These maps are showing all the rainfall that is expected from now until 10 p.m. on 
Wednesday. And we do see that there's definitely some rainfall consensus, especially across northern Jamaica, as it relates to the amount of rainfall. Euro is showing up to 0 0.41 of an inch of rainfall at most across sections of Portland. GFS showing 0 0.42 of an inch of rainfall across sections of St. Anna and Portland right there. So there's definitely going to be some rainfall tomorrow for the island. And we're indeed grateful for that rainfall that we're going to be receiving. Considering that we're in the month of August and we shall receive an uptick in the amount of rainfall that we receive across the island into the month of September and into the wettest month of the year, October. So we'll take all the rain that we can get to put some kind of a dent in the hydrological drought that we're currently experiencing. Alright, so that's it for the forecast across Jamaica. Let's focus our attention on the rest of the Caribbean. So as stated, we have lots of clouds bringing showers and thunderstorms in sections of Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the US and British Virgin Islands. We can see some clouds going into sections of Cuba, the Bahamas. We can see some going into sections of the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize. Lots of showers and thunderstorms across sections of Costa Rica, Panama, associated with the monsoon trough. And if we take a look at the Doppler radar images right now of the northeastern Caribbean, we can see that yes, we indeed have lots of rainfall taking place from about 1.30 p.m. today across sections of Eastern Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, where they might have even had some amount of flash flooding taking place, the US and British Virgin Islands, just as mentioned as we saw on the satellite images. If we take a look at the Barbados radar, they don't have much going on across Barbados at this time. They However, have some rainfall right there to the northeast of the island, not to mention to the far south of the island affecting portions of Trinidad and Tobago. As relates to the wider view of the Florida images, we can see lots of rainfall across sections of the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, northern Guatemala, sections of Costa Rica, Cuba, southern Florida, the Bahamas, even sections of northern Colombia right there getting in on some of the rainfall associated with the outer bands of Tropical Storm Franklin. Colombia, sections of Guyana as well getting in on some amount of rainfall. As related to the temperature forecast for tomorrow, we can see average to slightly above average temperatures all across the Caribbean for tomorrow. And as it's related to the siren dust for 2 p.m. on Wednesday, we don't have much in the way of siren dust. Lots of moist air taking place across the region at this time time and for tomorrow as related to the wave forecast you can see the highest waves right there to the south of hispaniola and that's associated with tropical storms franklin's windy weather and we can see that windy weather as represented by the yellows that represent 25 knot winds or more up to even tropical storm force in there so they might even get into the reds the pinks maybe even the purples as well especially across the island of hispaniola as related to the rain forecast, we can see that they're definitely in for some tremendous rainfall across sections of Haiti and the Dominican Republic where you even see getting up into the whites and the grays, maybe even 12 inches of rainfall on the Euro and the GFS right there. So they're definitely going to be in for some catastrophic flooding and landslides across sections of the Dominican Republic and even sections of Haiti. We can also see more rainfall in way. For sections of Bahamas, Cuba, the Turks and Caicos, sections of the Leeward Islands, if they're not already receiving rainfall, they're definitely going to be in for some more rainfall. Sections of Venezuela, sections of Guyana, Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala, sections of Belize, and sections of the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, not to mention sections of the Cayman Islands. We see that both maps are showing the same thing, and we know that when they're showing the same thing like this, the chance of it actually happening are much higher. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching.